lightning strikes Oh, I hear the rumble I can see the smoke As it starts to rise Oh, I feel the heat As the flames get closer And I don't turn And I don't run this is Ted at Night Horse Firearms. What we have today is a Harrington and Richardson Pardoner single shot uh, shotgun breakover 410. Uh, what we're going to do today is break this thing down and make it possibly a little easier for some of you out there. What you want to do first, as always, is make sure the firearm is clear and unloaded. And in this case, it's really easy to do since it's a single shot. We're going to take off the foregrip is a single screw. Set the foregrip aside once the screw is all the way out. Remove the barrel and then we're going to start <coughs> with disassembly. When you disassemble this gun one of the things you need to note is that the pins and the receiver are both knurled. The receiver is knurled on the left side, the pins are knurled on this side as well so you always want to do your removal from right to left and then your reinstallation of the pins from left to right. And I broke my very small punch on, that's required for this front uh, pin on the um, trigger guard. So I have an old broken uh, drill that's harder than the to get that started out. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put this up here on the block. Drive these pins all the way out now that they're loose. Because if you don't drive them all the way out, the gun won't come apart. You've got your cocking lever, you've got your pins, there's your hammer, three of your pins, there's one more, firing pin, your trigger assembly, your trigger extension, the sear um, not the sear, the striker uh, lifter assembly with the barrel catch and, this, and the lifter spring and your hammer spring. And that's really all there is to it. This is a very simple, very well-made firearm. The um, firing pin spring uh, was retained inside there. You can take it out if you need to clean it, but um, otherwise for this purpose you can just leave it in. One of the things you're going to note about these pins is that they're of different lengths. Um, the shortest pin uh, goes up here and is the retainer for uh, the bottom side of your firing pin. The other three pins on most of these guns that I've ever uh, disassembled were the same length. However, this one that came from the customer is has two pins that are um, shorter. Um, one might be just a hair longer, but the shortest pin needs to go up here. Um, where the firing pin retention is, because the barrel has, I mean, the receiver has a little bit of a taper to it, the next shortest pin could go here, but the two longest pins go here, and of course, the one of the smallest diameter is the front of your trigger guard. This is the striker um, uh, barrel disconnector um, assembly. It includes the, the striker lifter, it includes the barrel disconnector, and it includes this little lifter spring. Now, the lifter spring has one leg here that is longer and another leg here that is shorter. This longer leg goes on this notch that's in the lifter striker here. The short leg goes on the very first notch of the disconnector. If it does not, what happens is the gun will not operate. The, the barrel uh, disconnector will seem like it has lots of tension on it, but it will not allow 
the lifter to come down far enough for the hammer to strike the um, uh, firing pin and for the gun to go off. Okay. One of the things you're going to need when you put this together and you put it in the gun is a slave pin. So what you need to do is measure the diameter, get a pin that's very, very close, either part of an old drill bit or something, but and it doesn't need to be as long as the full through holes, but close um, so that it can hold everything together. This is the correct orientation. When you have the disconnector in this position and the striker lifter in this position, it goes like this. Now, the, there is a short side to um, the <coughs> lifter and that's the side that the spring goes on like this. going to be like that on this side and that goes in between here and when you put it in it's going to be on that first notch on your disconnector right there put your slave pin in make sure that it's flush or just a little below flush should look like that when you're ready to assemble it what you want to do when you're getting ready to install this is go ahead on the left side and since this is going in this hole right here, you want to go ahead and start your pin just barely, not too far. It's probably better if you've got, unless you've got really small hands, you use a pair of tweezers or something to line this assembly up. And it's better if you can get that lifter striker assembly out of the way as you lower it into position. When you get it down there and it's close, you can rotate the gun a little bit to see that it's lined up. When it's lined up, push on your pin and you saw that um, slave pin just slide right out. You can tap that in a little further. You don't have to tap it all the way in just yet. But now your assembly is together. You know that it's correct because this is laying up flat or flush with the receiver. Your firing pin has a flat spot. The flat spot goes down. Go ahead and put the firing pin in. Make sure that your firing pin spring is in there and if you see that it's rotated you can rotate your firing pin around so that it is facing flat part down. Get your pin, get it started, push it in there. You're going to have to take this pin out again later because in order to put your release, your barrel release in there, you're going to have to, wants to dance with me. It's a slippery devil. There you go. Push it in just a tad. You push it in, but know that you're going to have to take that out a little bit later. The next thing we're going to do is install the hammer and the hammer spring. This is probably the absolute most difficult thing that people struggle with on getting this thing back together. And I've seen people go through all kinds of gyrations to try and make it happen. But I think this will help you make it a little easier. What we're going to do is we're going to stick the, fire, the hammer in in the correct orientation. And just know that this spring, the short leg goes up against this pin that's on the hammer. It doesn't go like this, it goes like this. Okay, but we're going to put the hammer in first without the spring and we're going to go ahead and start our pin. Get our hammer through and when we get the hole lined up, we're just going to stick it part way in so that the hammer is secure. There we go. Okay, now pull the hammer back all the way to the side closest to you, picking up this hammer spring, get it in the side where it will go over the hole, will go over the pin, and at the same time that the short leg will be stopped by the pin on the hammer itself. Now you're going to know that the orientation is correct because you're going to have tension on the long leg. 
Okay, the next thing you're going to do now is take, and I like to use one of my other uh, shotgun tools, and it's got a notch in it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take that notch and we're going to catch the edge of that we're going to catch the edge of that spring making sure that we're still on that pin and we're just going to push it down and over and you're done i think that should save most of you a very lot of time and you know that it's working there because it is actually functioning and you can see your striker lifter going up and down as you cock the hammer and let it go okay the next thing in position you can see it going up and down and you know that that is in fact correct now next what we're going to do is we're going to put our trigger group together you've got your trigger extension you've got your your trigger and your trigger guard and the trigger guard there are two springs this spring goes behind the um, barrel disconnector and this this other little spring of course is provides tension for the trigger you've also got a little notch here on the trigger itself and that is for your trigger extension the trigger extension goes in the same direction as the trigger they both curve in the same direction and that is so that the trigger extension can go around the bar that holds the hammer in okay now when you put this together you probably want to use another slave pin it just makes it way easier to put this whole thing together and to get it in like that make sure it, it's shorter than overall and when you put it in put it over that pin make sure that that's over the pin and you need to tilt it down a little bit to make sure that front spring is behind behind make sure your slave pin isn't in the way so that you can't slide the thing all the way in slave pin's in the way here we go Put it in, but make sure that this front spring is behind your uh, barrel catch. And then push it forward and down. You'll feel it, it kind of goes in. You want to make sure that your spring does not get in front of the barrel catch. But you also want to make sure that your trigger extension is behind. Check here to make sure the spring isn't underneath. Go ahead and take your other pin from the left side, start it in, and it should just pitch your slave pin out. Tap it lightly. You're in. You can go ahead and put your um, short pin or your uh, smaller diameter pin in from the front. Now, we are left with, the only thing left is the pin for the uh, barrel release here's our barrel release goes in like this has a little notch now it's going to fit in to that barrel catch that we very very first put in and you're just going to have to feel of it and generally you're going to know that it's lined up when this hole all the holes all the way through are correct and you're going to feel tension on that and when you can push it through try not to get my hands in the way of the camera there we go, and I can feel it, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but the barrel catch is actually moving when I push on it, so I know it is in fact correct. I can go ahead at this point, drive the rest of my pins, the remainder in, I can reinstall my barrel. I can reinstall my foregrip. And we know that we have a functioning firearm as soon as we test it. Barrel catch works. It cocks. The striker lifter is in place. See it come down, remain in place so it strikes the um, firing pin. It fires. 
There is no safety on this gun, so remember folks, this is your primary safety, always. Keep your guns pointed in a safe direction. If you like it, like it down there on the bottom and subscribe. Thanks, this is Ted at Night Horse Firearms. Hope that helped.